Hi, and welcome to OK at Home DIY. My name is Zaina, and today is a part of a Craft Her Stash Friends Hop. And I am opening up a package from Melissa over at Melissa Makes It DIY. And I sent a package off to Connie over at Connie Creations and Nails. So after my video, I'm going to link her channel in my description box below and hop on over and watch her video so let's get opening the package i'm excited Alrighty. so i blocked out all the information and i'm just gonna see i haven't even opened it like i'm opening it legit on camera Here we go. Some packaging. She sent me some of these amazing wooden spools. Look at that, guys. I'm excited. Oh, and some red paint. She might have watched my video where I like used the praying red paint, and I'm like, this is not, but this is. Awesome paint, thank you so much. And then awesome cho little chalkboard, easel, like a clipboard. It's a clipboard, can you see in there? It's like a, not a clip, it's like a, um, I'll have to open it up and show you. It's um like a paper, not a paper clip, but a, I'm geeking out over this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, it's like a clothespin, there we go. And she sent me a house. Ah, I love this one. I love the shape of this one. And oh my goodness, your stash is amazing, Melissa. How cute is this? And then some <laughs> awesome ribbon. This, she sent me all amazing things. So I am going to get crafting and started on our Christmas theme craft her stash. Thank you so much, Melissa. And again, after this video, hop on over to Connie Creations and Nails. Starting out with the wooden spools. I love these and I didn't want to do anything too permanent to them. So I took some washi tape and wrapped the ends with some red and white washi tape. I got this probably at Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. And then the one that I used to wrap the middle I know I got a Target dollar spot. So I just keep my eye out for washi tape that I like and then I just keep it for little project like projects like this. Wrapping the center some washing tape. And so I decided with these spools, I wanted to make a little garland. So I'm taking some beads that I have around my house in that red paint that she sent, the Deco Art. It's called Christmas Red. And I am taking that and I'm using that red paint to paint these beads. And I do 20 beads with this red paint and I do 20 beads with white chalk paint. Then I string the beads and the spools to make a garland. I love how it turned out. Next, I'm taking the small palette sign and I'm taping the edge. I kind of tore the tape before I put it down. I want it to have a jagged edge. And this didn't quite turn out the way I wanted to, but I wanted to kind of show it anyways, just to show you the difference. Then I went ahead and painted the middle section there with matte black apple barrel acrylic paint, giving it one coat all the way down. Letting it dry. After it was dry, I went ahead and just took the edges off. And I kind of liked how it did kind of look rustic and worn. Uh, but it just didn't blend out as I liked, as I wanted it to with sanding. I wanted that to, to blend out and be a little, little more rustic or worn. And so it was still just to contrast between the the plain wood and the palette. So I went ahead and just painted it all the way through as you can see here. Then I cut Silent Night, Holy Night out on my Cricut 
and I went ahead and adhered that to my palette sign with sometimes I lose the dots on the eyes so I went ahead and just fixed that with a white marker and again with this holy night I couldn't get the dot from the eye to work so that's okay and went that back and fixed it with the white marker and then I wanted to draw stars the you know the crisscross stars I just drew them all over the palette sign and you know you just make a T and then make an X to make a night sky full of stars. When it was all done, I went ahead and put a coat of Mod Podge on that. And that finishes off this palette sign, my Silent Night Holy Night. Now redoing these houses are so much fun. I taped the outside because I didn't want to change that. I liked that color and gave the inside of this two coats of chalkboard paint purchased at Dollar Tree. If you've been watching my channel, I like to make chalkboards and I love this chalkboard paint. Flipped it over, took off that label by heating it up with my dryer and then give the back two coats of white paint this is white chalk paint by Waverly. When that was dry, I went ahead and just sanded off the edges. I actually sanded the whole thing in the back just to, to give it a more rustic look. Took off the painter's tape on the side. And then I go to remove the painter's tape for the inside. And when I do that, I'm going to take out a straight edge. And this straight edge is just going to, I'm just going to lightly run it along the edge of the tape and where the tape and the paint meet. This makes sure that none of that paint will peel up when I peel up the tape. It just breaks any of that bond that could be overlapping and it could ruin my paint job. And I don't want that on my chalkboard. So again with my Cricut, I cut out Christmas and then days until Christmas, I'm going to use this as a countdown chalkboard. I like the fact that I use vinyl. If I don't want to have this just a countdown till Christmas, I can pull that off. And I can use the inside for a chalkboard for other things. And I'm just putting 26 days till Christmas. Flip that over. I am taking this rub on. I purchased this at the Dollar Tree. I see them now and then, but they I don't see them a whole lot. So if you have this in your stash, this would be fun to work on. I just go ahead and place this wreath. It's a, kind of like a boxwood wreath. And I rub, 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 and rub, and rub, and rub forever. And then I'm able to pull off that plastic. I'm taking the end of a barbecue skewer and making three dots in a clump. These are my little berry dots. And I just work my way all the way around this wreath, making sure I don't have any paint on my hand so I don't rub it all over my white paint there and have to do some touch-ups. And I love how this turned out. It is so pretty. It kind of looks like a watercolor almost. Hitting that with my blow dryer to get that red paint some extra, you know, get it extra dry and then hot gluing on that bow. I made it with this ribbon and the string. I just made a loop and then tied the string around the center to make the bow. And here's how it turned out. I love it. The very last craft is I am making a bow with that beautiful black and white ribbon. Melissa scent and I'm just tying it like I would tie a regular bow and then I just work the end around so you can see the print on both sides. Taking snowballs five cents. I cut that out on my Cricut. I just thought that would, was so cute. This little easel sign and I thought that makes this nice and wintry. So I am going to place this vinyl on there. What I did with the Cricut is I made it cut too deep and so the backing came off with the vinyl so it wasn't sticking to my sign. So I remedied that by just 
putting some Mod Podge over that and fixing that. Hot gluing my neat little bow on top of this cardboard sign. And then I go to make my bucket for my snowballs. And I paint it with white chalk paint first, let that dry, and then I take a cup of coats of that red paint and paint the outside of this bucket. Now, I used little small berries off of a pick. They were white with some silver, silver glitter, and that's how I got my little snowballs. I thought this would be perfect for a little stand, my two-tier tray to do a little snowball sign and have a little bucket full of snowballs. And here's how it turned out. I absolutely love it. And it just adds so much character to my two-tier tray. And that's it for my Craft Her Stash DIY. Remember to pop on over to Connie's Nails and Creative Creations and watch her video to see what she makes out of the things I sent her. And if you're new here, I'd love to invite you to subscribe. I do Dollar Tree DIYs, I do thrift flips, and I do trash to treasures using actual trash. Let me know down in the comment box which one you guys like the best. My favorite is the house. And until the next time, everyone, have a good one. Bye.